Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so I just want to give you guys a quick tip if you guys are in this situation. Uh, so basically, a couple of days ago, I I was um, at the park. I parked my car, went out for a brisk walk. Came back about 45 minutes later and then tried to get into my car and the remote didn't work. The remote didn't work. So I was I was like, all right, so if the remote didn't work, it's probably uh, the remote battery that's dead. That's fine. I've had that situation happen before. Matter of fact, I had that situation happen a couple years ago. So batteries like six bucks or whatever so I took the key out um, and I got into my car and funny thing is I didn't hear any noise it was completely dead I didn't make anything of it try to start it it was nothing <clears throat> no clicks no noises no lights on the dash nothing it was, it was there was no power at all so at that point, I thought maybe it was the dead battery. At that point, to me, I thought to myself, it's probably a dead battery. Have, have, like many of you have had that situation happen before. Bat, a dead battery happens. Dead batteries happen. All right. So, but <clears throat> seeing the batteries maybe like a year and a half uh, old, and I changed it out a year and a half ago. Um, it, it kind of, you know, I, I didn't, I, I was like, let battery search should last a lot longer than that. But obviously there've been situations, there've been situations that bad, bad batteries happen, right? Bad batteries happen for whatever reason. So I was like, okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, I was like, let me just get my power pack out. My Noco power pack out that I got from the from Walmart for like a hundred bucks. Let me just jump it, right? I'll jump it. Alternator will work. It can run with a dead battery. Not a problem. I drive it to AutoZone. Actually, I drive it to Walmart and get a seventy dollar Walmart battery again. <laughs> Pop it in. That's what I got the first time around. Haven't had any kind of issues with that at all. So I was thinking to myself, let's do that. So I, my battery pack was at, my battery pack, I'll tell you guys what, my battery pack was at 50%. But I was like, that's going to be enough to jump it. Not a problem. So I popped it on. And I tried to jump it and nothing. <clears throat> So I didn't even get a slow crank. I didn't get any kind of power in, 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 in the car. No power whatsoever. Tried a couple of times. Um, put the put the cables in different positions. Nothing. So I was like, maybe the battery terminal cable um, need to needed to be clean. It wasn't really dirty. It was kind of dirty. So I just wiggled it out of the way. Cleaned it a little bit with I had some hydrogen peroxide and uh, a paper towel. I cleaned it up as best as I could. Had a screw screwdriver that I just pretty much just, you know, tried to get the, the, the corrosion off as much as I could. And I got a lot of the corrosion off. I popped it back on. And and then I put the, 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 the no cold battery pack cable on. And then I tried to start it. And nothing nothing happened like before there was no power nothing no power anywhere nothing all right no noises no power it's completely 100 percent dead so i was thinking to myself maybe the noco doesn't have enough power to get to start but then i was like you know what no that you know even even if it didn't have enough power to start even if that was 25 percent in the noco you know, you know, the the car would have made like a maybe like a, a a slow crank, or at the very least, I would be getting some lights on the dash. At the very least, <clears throat> you know, even with a ten percent battery pack, once I pop it on, I should be maybe not ten percent. I don't know. 
<clears throat> but I should be getting some lights or whatever. Stuff that doesn't take a, a lot of electricity. And uh, no, that uh, nothing. Nothing. So I, 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 I was pretty sure that it was in the power pack that was the problem because I was thinking maybe I should get a jump. But then again, I think to myself, you know what? Jump's not going to work because I'm getting no power at all. In, 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 uh, I'm getting no power at all. So I was thinking to myself, <coughs> okay. So I clean the cables. I clean the terminals. What else could cause it? So I... I tried to follow the negative line, the negative line, the negative cable, make sure that it was grounded correctly. All right. <clears throat> make sure that the that it was grounded correctly. So I was tugging on it just to make sure that it was it was tight. And it was tight. And I was thinking um, probably wasn't a negative cable. I could just put cross that out um, on on the diagnosis list. Cross that out. So I was like, let's um let's check out something else. Alright, let's check out the fuse box, let's check out the relays, but I was like, let's check out the fuse box. Now, there wasn't a specific fuse that I was looking for, to be honest with you. I was just looking to see whether there was any kind of short anywhere, whether some of the fuses were burnt out, whether one of the fuses burnt were burnt out, whether I was smelling anything, whether I was smelling anything burning, whether I I saw any kind of brownish, darkish looking um uh, coloration on any of the fuses just to make sure that that um, <clears throat> none of them were uh, burnt out and guess what none of them I, I from from my eyesight from what I was seeing I didn't see anything that that was an issue with it now I was thinking about maybe the relays but I don't think there's a main relay to the battery as far as I knew I didn't think there was a main relay to the battery so I was thinking to myself all right, <clears throat> what could be causing this? Because it seems that there's no connection at all from the battery to the fuse box, to the rest of ECU, to the car. So I was looking at the cables themselves uh, just, to, just to look at them. And I noticed that um, the positive cable has, has this, um, it, it's called, what is it called? It's called a, a fusible link is what it's called. And now that I know that it's called a fusible link, but looking at it, um, they, they have these little tiny windows, mini windows. And if you, and if you guys look close enough, uh, a lot of them, a lot of them, all of them actually has this little uh, fuse wire, metal fuse wire that goes, that connects one end to the other. And I was looking at them and a couple of them actually looked like they were burnt. So I actually took my screwdriver and took the took the little plastic window off and yeah, it was uh, you know the 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 fuses that's what it's called. That's what a fuse is. It's just a different type of fuse on the battery and I noticed that 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 it was burnt. So I I, I actually took a, a, my 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 screwdriver and what I did was I actually popped it onto the fuse just to connect the two ends. <coughs> I had my door door open, and once I connected it, I uh, heard some you know beeping and all that stuff. And <coughs> and uh, at that point, I knew that it was that that was causing the problem because I had power at that point. I knew exactly that that was the problem. So basically what I did uh, at the point at, at that point was um, I, I had some uh, uh, some 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 tools and a couple of tools a couple of things that that I normally keep in my car and I was trying to see whether I could actually just patch up the two ends just to see whether I could get it to maybe drive it to an auto zone or whatever but I, I didn't I, I X'd out on doing that because because um, I, I really didn't want to cause another situation, maybe a bigger situation by doing that because fuses exist for a reason and I couldn't figure out why it, it blew out and I don't want to, and it blew out at a certain amp for a certain reason. <clears throat> 
and I didn't want to cause a bigger issue. So what I did was I actually called um, AutoZone and normally they have these in stock because most Nissans and Infinities have these fusible link, or if not all of them have this fusible link on the battery. So they always have this in stock. They're always interchangeable because Nissan and, and Infinity, they actually use, um, they use these on all the batteries. But, <coughs> but I, I thought to myself, yeah. So um, I called AutoZone, they had it. I, I took a Uber, called, called a Uber, took it, uh, took a Uber to AutoZone and um, came back and popped it back in and started it it started fine it works fine it's been working fine no issues whatsoever so if you guys find yourself in this kind of situation where you guys are in a need of a quick fix and you you know it's not the battery that's the issue and you guys have no power whatsoever and you guys try to jump and you guys it doesn't jump doesn't start it seems like there's no electricity going through it look at this all right definitely check out your fusible link to make sure that make sure that your fusible link it has um is not is not uh does not have any issues it's not blown the fuse is not blown etc etc b because majority of the time uh this situation causes uh these kind of electrical disconnect uh, disconnections disconnect between the battery and and the fuse box so anyway hope you guys like this video if you guys have any comments please leave a comment in the comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff right guys